Assalamu alaikum alaykum everyone. This is Atik and I am welcoming you in today's session of estimation. And uh, yes, in the previous session we have performed the estimation of steel in the wall footings. And in today's session uh, we are going to talk about quantities of steel reinforcement bars in retaining wall footings. So uh, I believe that you people are following me from the start. And as you know that we have uh, these sets which we have uploaded in the um, Clan Swift. Let me just close all the uh, other markups. And yes, we have just uh, opened the markups of only retaining wall. So we have seen that this retaining wall, this is 4 feet wide footing. Uh, this retaining wall has 4 feet wide footing. So how we are going to find out that which uh, reinforcement or which steel bar which uh, we are going to install in their footing a uh, section y is going to cut the section of retaining wall footing so what we are going to do we will be going to the section sheet this retaining wall footing is on the west side of the building so so again i am going to repeat the same process for the wall uh, for the wall footing for the retaining wall footing uh, which is on the east side and that section is going to be cut which is y y so again we are going to see that we are having actually uh, two nets of the footing uh, steel reinforcement and both are at number four and, and number four and six inches center to center actually so what we are going to do here uh, we will be going to replace it with 6 inches so how much is the length length is 50.1 so we are going to divide it with 50.1 and divide and going to divide it with 0 0.5 and we are going to add plus 1 and again we are the length will be 4 feet is the width of the footing and 1 feet 1 feet here it's actually making 6 feet so we are going to multiply it by 6 this is number 4 so 0 0.67 multiplied by 1.2 so at the end we are going to multiply it by 2 because we are having two set of bars one is this one and the one is on the upper end so we are going to get the whole quantity for both the nets so this is 976 let me delete this for clarification so now here uh, if we are going to talk about the longitudinal bars, so these both are placed at 6 inches. So again, uh, our it will be going to replace by 6 inches, but this time it is going to be placed in 4 feet and again going to be placed uh, at a 6 inches center to center. We are going to add 1 and sorry. We are going to multiply it with 0 0.67 and with the length, which is 50.2, 1.2, and add them by 2 to get the both quantities. Finally, if we talk about dowels, so dowel we are going to get the same 5 feet height, and uh, we see that it is having number 4 at 6 inches center to center. So we are going to replace it with number 6, sorry, number 4, while it is placed at six inches center to center and again these are on the both faces of the wall so what we are going to do now it is going to be placed in 50.2 feet of length at the spacing of six inches one bar will be going to be add length of one double is five feet and this is number four so this is 0 0.67 and 1.2 is the vestige factor so this is whole calculation for one face of the wall while we are going to multiply it with two to get the complete uh, tonnage actually pounds of the double in the in this retaining wall footing so again uh, like previous session i believe this session is a little bit boring but uh, uh, if i assume that your imagination is strong then you find it interesting and uh, yes no doubt it is very helpful for your career and uh, i personally believe that if you can read the plans and if you can make any bill of quantity out of those plans 
so that means that you are going to have a good grip on your knowledge and uh, that is only my opinion tell me yours in the comment section uh, while I am saying you goodbye for today's session and uh, yes keep me in your prayers and do subscribe the channel like my videos and share it with your friends